Hi, this is Doug Belshaw, MoodleNet lead here at Moodle HQ. This is UX Milestone 2 Screencast 2 and reflects work that we've been doing in July 2018 with Outlandish. So let's get started. In this particular screencast, we're going to be showing how you can add an alt account, an alternative account within MoodleNet. So we're going to use Jeremy as an example again. So he's going to sign in with Google and sign in with his Google account. But this time, he's going to go to his profile. Now, last time, Jeremy filled in his profile. Here it is. It's got his job title and where he is and who vouched for him and followers and social accounts and communities and interests. But he's going to go and edit this profile. He can edit his main profile, but the thing we're interested in this time is creating an alternative profile, an alt profile. Now, he can create an alt profile here by adding a banner image and a profile image and selecting a different name. In this case, he's going to be El Pinguino. And he's going to have a different emoji ID. These two accounts are linked together. So if there's any problems, we can tell who's who. But from a user's point of view, they can't tell that El Pinguino is Jeremy unless he tells them. So I'm going to press Save. And here it is, El Pinguino. And he hasn't got a social profile added yet. He's not part of any communities. And he hasn't got any interests. So instead of going through those one by one, let's just do a quick fast forward. Here we are. It's now at some point in the future. And El Pinguino has three followers. He's got a social account connected, which is different from his main one. And he's also a member of three communities and has different interests, which are specified. So he's part of the Rainbow Alliance and he's interested in LGBT rights, etc. So this is a different facet of Jeremy's personality, uh, which he might not want to be comfortable in sharing yet. He can comment on different people's collections um, and en engage in conversation communities as El Pinguino, just as he could as Jeremy. And he can do that as he sees fit. This little question mark at the bottom is for other people on his profile to find out what an alt account is and also report any problems that you might have in case there's any kind of spam or any kinds of problems. Because of course, we can tell at the back end that El Pinguino is Jeremy. So what do you think of this? Is this something which you'd find useful? Please do leave us comments either on this YouTube video or wherever it's embedded, including on the MoodleNet blog. Thank you.